Welcome to Life Science Lover Channel. In previous lecture, we have already covered one topic for SOP for HPLC calibrations. So now we will continue that topic. So first one is for SOP calibration is SOP for calibration of HPLC column oven. This is HPLC column oven chamber. In my previous lectures also, I have mentioned this with one video also. So you can watch that previous lecture. I will mention that lectures link in my description. Procedure. Its frequency is once in a year. So procedure for HPLC column oven calibration is a keep calibrated digital thermometer inside the HPLC column oven as the sensor probe of reference. Keep its position in about center of the oven chamber. Set the oven temperature at 25 degrees Celsius. Let the oven chamber to achieve a set temperature. Allow to stabilize it for at least 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, observe the temperature in reference thermometer. Record the volume of temperature. Show an instrument display and reference the re thermometer in NXTER 1. Keep the minimum 5 minute interval for first and second readings. Then set the oven temperature 40 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Celsius, 60 degrees Celsius and 70 degrees Celsius each one by one and follow the procedure as mentioned in step number C to F. Then SOP for guideline for a system suitability test for HPLC analysis. So in my previous lecture I have already covered two lectures regarding system suitability test because it is a very very important topic for chemical test it is very important topic so you have to watch that lectures also procedure for system suitability test sop follow system suitability procedure when system suitability test required in hplc analytical method Perform a system suitability test of all HPLC instruments prior to use and after completion of testing also. The results of different parameters which are included in system suitability should be within limit as per respective method of analysis. Get the system suitability and chromatographs mention all the details in respective product data sheet. Then, SOP for linearity check of high performance liquid chromatography means HPLC. You may watch these three lectures. These lectures are relevant with HPLC calibration procedure. So in that lecture linearity is very very important. So I have covered lectures in Hindi and English also. So you can go and watch that lectures also because it is very important for our interview purpose. So its procedure, operate the instrument as per respect to standard operator procedure of the HPLC instrument, performance of linearity of results. Okay. So here frequency 2 months, prepare the mobile phase consisting of 70% of methanol and 30% of water, stock solution preparation. Prepare a mixture of 0.2% of benzene and 0.2% of toluene in methanol. Make dilution in following manner. Take 5 ml, 10 ml, 15 ml and 20 ml of stock solution respectively in 25 ml of volumetric solution and make up with methanol. Set flow rate at 1 ml per minute. Allow the system to be saturated with mobile phase for at least 15 minutes before injecting the different solutions. Record the area and retention time of both benzene and toluene as per NX1. Calculate the linearity of both benzene and toluene respectively. So this was about today's lecture. In next lecture we will definitely cover SOP for calibration of HPLC means it is for low pressure quaternary gradient liquid chromatography so this is the low pressure quaternary gradient liquid chromatography so what is the meaning of low pressure quaternary gradient liquid chromatography this lecture is very important so that's why we have to take one another lecture for it so this is all about today's class thank you